Almost a year to the day since Black Saturday, the forests where the fires burned hottest are slowly returning to life. Alicia Gorey says locals too are hoping they can make a comeback, just like the charred landscape. What a difference 12 months can make. What was black is now green. The colour has returned to the burnt bush and so have the first signs of life. Certainly helped me and, and I know all, all our friends and neighbours around here um, have found it very uplifting to see how, how the bush can bounce back. An ecologist, David nice. Baker Gabb, has watched the transformation unfold along his own road. So Dave, from the regrowth you can tell just how hot the fire was in different parts of this bushland. Yeah, on Black Saturday the fire was moving straight along behind us, then the wind change came through. Here the fire was at its hottest and the regeneration has been slower as a result, while on the other side of the street the forest is flourishing. Two weeks after Black Saturday, this toasted um, messmate wouldn't have had a single leaf on it, not one. And here we've got all this regrowth. It's often the oldest trees facing the toughest battle to survive. Yeah, but the prognosis for this tree is not very good. Heavy rainfall this summer has helped the regeneration. St Andrews had 78 millimetres of rain last month, compared with just one millimetre the January before. As for the wildlife, it's coming back just like the trees. Plenty of kangaroos are back in this, in this habitat. Plenty of um, wallabies, the ones that survived, they're doing very well. You know, I think it actually strengthens people's resolve and they reckon they can bounce back. Take a bit longer um, for some of us, and, but no, it's certainly very helpful. Alicia Gorey, Nine News.